Yo, it's Big Ant Man back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in with Bandito one time, man, out of Fort Worth. Yes, sir, yes, sir, man. It's good to be back on this whole man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, man, you you call I think she you called my first win the Fort Worth interviews, actually me coming out there. I think shit, that was my first time hitting the road with this shit. Yeah. Uh, exactly about a year ago, cause I think I went out there like the first of the year last year. Nah, like, for real. Yeah, and, and back at it again. Yeah, twenty twenty one. It's year. dope, man. It's dope. I be seeing you kind of pushing your music and shit, get, getting your shit going and everything like that. So, uh, you know, tell them, you know, just for the people that don't know, introduce yourself to where you from and everything like that. Shit, bandito, shit, I'm from Fort Worth, man. Uh, mm -hmm. really, I'm from a, a little place. I was really not little, uh, but the area that I'm from is Carlton City you know what I'm saying it's just it's like a I guess you could say a, a server out there you know what I'm saying but it's really not if if niggas niggas for people forward they know like you know what I'm saying shit be going on everywhere but yeah, yeah that's where I'm from bro you know what I'm saying just uh fucking I wouldn't call myself like a rapper bro you know what I'm saying I really would say I'm an artist you know what I'm saying because yeah. I try to do every, every I try to do everything people ain't doing you know what I'm saying so yeah. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, uh, you know, Fort Worth, man, Fort Worth turned up right now, dog. Like the whole DFW turned up for shit show. Really, the whole Texas turned up. But Fort Worth is, is like this fucking place where all these artists is at, and niggas is getting their shit out there on YouTube. Everybody going crazy on YouTube in Fort Worth right now, dropping videos consistently, getting the views. You know, shit going crazy with the blogs out there in Fort yeah. Worth. How you be feeling about that shit? Like everything is just going on with the the Fort Worth rap scene and shit. I just I feel like it's all meant to be, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everything in the past led up to where it is now. You know what I'm saying? It's it's uh, it's a lot of fucked up shit that goes on with all the beef and all the bullshit. But yeah. uh, for the most part, shit, we just getting the the shine that we been supposed to be getting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. what well, like now. People back in the day used to always say, say you come down there, they really just think about Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now, they think of Fort Worth too, like, oh, we gotta go for Fort Worth too, like, we can't just go to Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Last, what, what, about five years, I would say, just steadily increasing in Fort Worth. Because I, I, you know, me being from Ace Time and shit, yeah. like, you know, we always knew Dallas, like, Not everybody true. know Dallas. Then we know, like, Fort Worth is a place where it's going down there. Yeah. It's real niggas it out there too. We know that shit, but niggas wasn't really checking for the music super heavy at first. Hey. But now like niggas is real fans. Like my partner, that's all that nigga listen to. Nothing yeah. but for worth shit. And I be tapped in and everything. That's why I came out there, like, man, let me see yeah. what's really going on with this shit out here on, on the on the ground level. So, you know, seeing that going on, bro, where you think your place is gonna be at in this shit? With how you gotta come with it? Shit. I just gotta do me, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. I ain't really in no competition with nobody, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta wait for your turn, shit. And like I said, I'll be trying to do different shit, so I just know when I do get my sign, I'm gonna have my sign for a good ass time. Like, I'm gonna I'm make a, I'm gonna I'm a fucking, how would you say? People gonna remember me, you know what I'm saying? They gonna remember the name, like, they yeah. gonna know who I am by the end of this shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, you gotta keep pressing that shit. That's what that shit be mostly built on consistency, dog. Yeah. Like going as hard as you motherfucking can with it. So, uh, you know, like you say, bro, Fort Worth, dog. You know, take take some niggas through the typical day in Fort Worth right now, bro. What the energy be like out there? Cause I know shit being crazy. What the energy of, like the streets, niggas shit. just like damn. You know, it's a lot of uh shit. 2020 was a fucked up year, man. It's a lot of bad vibes and shit in the streets, you know what I'm saying? A lot of fucked up shit going on. Yeah. Shit to people who in the music industry and people who not in the music industry, just yeah. in, in general, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, shit, a normal day out there, bro, just really, everybody just be doing their own shit. People don't really like, yeah, we interact and shit, but it's not a place, like, people are beefing with people that they've been beefing with their whole life. It's not just like, oh, if you looking at me the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not on no shit like that. Yeah. Now, when I go, you know, every time I've been out there, man, it always been love, especially in Dallas, too, man. Both of them motherfuckers, I done got love for every artist that I done reached out to out there or tapped in with and worked with in, uh, in that Fort Worth, dog. So, who, who, who the niggas you would say, bro, 
made you come out of Fort Worth and be like, man, these these these, these niggas hard than a motherfucker. I gotta come jump in this rap shit too. Like who going who was going hard out there? You was like, okay, I fuck with how that nigga dropping shit. Damn, I really can't. Shit, I've been rapping since I was like twelve, so I can't really say anybody yeah. just made me want to do it. But yeah. like coming up, you know, obviously Goyeo was, you know, what I'm saying the first stamp because that's whenever, that's whenever I first was like, okay, yeah, I can, I can get out of Fort Worth. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. somebody just did that shit. We finna do, it. and then it just kept happening and happening. So I would really just say every rapper, bro, I fuck with every rapper from Fort Worth, bro. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with every nigga from my city. If you from my city and you trying to make it out, I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, that's what's up, dog. Like, cause I I'll say this, you know, Goyeo was the uh, first rapper that I knew from Fort Worth. To be honest with you, you know, yeah. I didn't. I'd be lying and fake if I said I knew Twisted Black when I was growing up. Yeah. Now they don't mean, you know, I wouldn't got on them later on. But you know, me watching Sean Cotton and Say Cheese Brand do their thing, they hit me to Fort Worth through uh, Goyeo and everything he had going on and then I start seeing him going and traveling and everything like that yeah. and I was like okay yeah this nigga he doing this little shit he turned the fuck up no, so y'all was sitting back seeing him and then he the nigga that like okay bro we can kind of get on this platform too and yeah. this shit possible so Nah, uh, for real. Yeah. And shit, well, nobody really speaks so about like yeah, yo, and shit. People always speak about like the bad shit he be doing, but yeah. shit, at the beginning, bro, he was really trying to start some fucking groundbreaking shit, bringing everybody together. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. people can't ever say he's a fake nigga because he tried to help out people who he didn't even have to help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For shit, show. For shit, show. So um, yeah, dog. What's next for you, bro? You got any new things you about to drop? Any new music? Anything? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just we just did the Jill dropout shit. Uh, I dropped it in March. Was it? it was March, right? I don't, I don't even remember when the fuck I dropped it. November, November, yeah, right? I was about to say, I'm tripping, right? <laughs> yeah. <God damn. laughs> nah, for real. But so we did that, and then yeah. now I'm working on uh, Serve Man Two, the Snow Tape. Uh, it's uh, the sequel to the original Serve Man Tape. Yeah. And shit, I just been doing uh, just just more singles too. Uh, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna start dropping singles now and here, like leaking them and shit. Just. Just to hit people in the face with some new shit every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But everything, really, from here, this is the beginning of the year, is January, so everything's finna be new, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything from here on out just finna be new. Try to be as consistent as I can, you know what I'm saying? Try to just, uh, how would you say, capitalize on every opportunity I get this year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's really what I'm trying to do. Yeah.